Good afternoon, one and all present here today. I am going to present a study titled Bacteriological Study of Chronic Dacryocystitis in Patients Attending a Tertiary Hospital in Assam. No financial interest, authors have no conflict of interest. Ethical clearance and informed consent were taken before the start of the study. Introduction, chronic decryocystitis is a chronic inflammation of lacrimal sac and duct caused mainly secondary to nasolacrimal duct obstruction, infection from surrounding structures and trauma. Patients may present with watering, discharge or swelling over the lacrimal sac area. Materials and method, it is a cross-sectional study conducted in a tertiary care hospital in Assam for a period of one year. Uh, for the study, we took 70 patients with chronic decryocystitis who have not used either systemic or topical antibiotic at least for the past one week, uh, irrespective of sex, occupation, and economic status. So materials from lacrimal sac were collected in sterile swabs by a Roplast uh, test or, and by syringing and were subjected to the uh, following test, uh, first gram staining, uh, culture and for the culture we use blood agar, McConkey's agar, nutrient agar, chocolate agar and after inoculation the media plates were incubate, incubated aerobically at 37 degrees overnight in the incubator. If there were no growth of organisms on the plates after 24 hours the plates were incubated for another 24 hours. Individual organisms were confirmed with biochemical tests. Antibiotic sensitive te testing, uh, it was done by standard uh, disc diffusion method. Diameter of the zone of inhibition, inhibition around the disc was measured, and if the zone was more than 15 millimeter in diameter, the organism was reported sensitive to the particular antibiotic. So from our study, we have observed that uh, from the table number one, we can see that out of 70 cases, uh, 59 cases, that is 84.28 percent have bacterial growth, while 11 cases showed uh, no growth. And out of which gram-positive cocci was the common predominant one, 54.28 percent, and gram-negative, uh, 30 percent. Out of the uh, gram-positive cocci, step aureus was the most common. This is the uh, bar chart showing the findings. Table number two, we can see uh, from the antibiotic uh, sensitivity test, uh, the most sensitive an antibiotic that we found was uh, getifloxacin, which uh, was 84.74%, followed by ciprofloxacin and gentamicin. Discussion, bacteriological, uh, bacteriology of the cryocystitis. In a study, 84.28% percent of cases showed positive culture, while 15.71 showed no growth. Uh, similar reports were also shown by other authors like D.V. Seal et al. in 1982, um, Bhuyan J. et al. in 19, uh, 2014, uh, Sarkar I. et al. in 2015. And in our study, out of the uh, gram-positive organism, uh, the predominant pathogen was uh, Staph aureus, uh, followed by Strep pneumonia and Staph epidermis. Dermidis. And out of the negative bacilli, uh, Pseudomonas was the predominant one, uh, followed by E. coli, Klebsiella, and Acinobacter bomeni. Similar reports were also shown by Mahazan V. M. et al. in 1983, Prakas R. et al. in 2012, Bhuyan J. Uh, J. et al. in 2014, uh, Ragini uh, Garg et al. in 2018, and 2020 by Matmo ESG et al. Antibiotic sensitivity. For antibiotic sensitivity testing, we subjected the isolates against, uh, against commonly used antibiotics in the treatment of uh, chronic decryocystitis. The most sensitive for antibiotic found was getifloxacin, which was 84.74%, followed by ciprofloxacin, 77.96%. Similar results were uh, showing getifloxacin as the most in, uh, sensitive antibiotic were reported by Bharati M. Medol in 2017. Negam et al. in 2019 and Amrita Bajpai et al. in 2019, which was 84%. So coming to conclusion, chronic decryocystitis is a common infection with high positive culture, uh, which needs proper management. Sorry, sir. Please conclude, you have excluded a time. So uh, before carrying out intraocular surgeries like cataract surgery to prevent related complications like endophthalmitis. From our studies, we found that Staph aureus was the most common pathogen and getifloxacin was the most sensitive antibiotic against all pathogens isolated. These are my references. Thank you all.